सुदीप सुदीप ऑडियो वीडियो सिप आत्मत्रय सिप पुष्पा सिप रूप सिप ब्रिजेट सिप रू माता जी सिप पार्वती अमा सिप दासी अशोक छोटवानी सिप गौतम सिप कुंदन आई कैन सी तुषात्मा एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ यू हु आर ट्रिकलिंग टू द कॉल वन बाय वन हु आई कैन रियली सी वेलकम टू ईच ऑफ यू वी हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन दैट केम अप टू मी सिप एरू एंड सिप सगैराज welcome so the question that uh, the administrator has put up today is a simple question but the question is why do we complicate our life the question is very simple but the question is why do we complicate our life why do we think life is so complicated why do we make it complicated what is the reason can anybody share what do you why do you think people find so many problems anxieties troubles uh, we are so full of stress worry <laughs> all the time there is a voice in our head that is warning us that we'll be dead of course we'll be dead can anybody escape it we can't so what's the big deal what's what's, what's the big deal why do why fear death okay so this is what it is life is actually very simple why do we complicate who would go who would like to start koi hai shivam sir shivam sir ashok chotwani yes ashok <laughs> sir we complicate our life because of our ignorance we Arif. think we, we think this world is real we are not understanding the definition of life the definition of life is liberation from ignorance and finding enlightenment you are the guru of all gurus huh? <laughs> you, are you are the super guru, guru. <laughs> whatever so ashok you have said it so beautifully there could be no better beginning to this session the the session you have come about such simple words you said there is the reason that we complicate our life is because ashok says it's ignorance but i'm sure there'll be many more answers thank you ashok for a great start yeah. who else would like to go what why do we complicate our life who would like to go bliko and then sunil chittal Shivo Ham, Guru Ji. Shivo Ham. Shivo. Uh, the first and very important point Ashok said is the right thing, and I can add in uh, in the same line that people chase for happiness, thinking that life is to be successful and happy, and because of this uh, belief, people find the ways to get happiness from things and from the people relationship and all other things and that uh, that's why that ignorance of that true happiness they never find and they go in see so of happiness and sorrow that's the reason what an amazing what an amazing answer i am so impressed what an amazing answer bliko says the reason we complicate our life is because we are chasing happiness Bliko says we are chasing happiness. I think he gave an example. It may be a relationship, it may be something to make us happy, but we are chasing that happiness. And by trying to chase that happiness that we want to get, we have complicated our life so much that an otherwise beautiful, simple, amazing life gets so complicated. I'm again happy. We have two excellent points. But let us see if there is uh, Sunil Chittal going to come out with something, and then Ru Mata Ji after Sunil Chittal. Sunil Chittal. Shivam Guru Ji. Shivam. Uh, we complicate our lives because we are in, we are calibrated like that. Because first we are such a complex people, we confuse between uh, the what is what is truth and run after untruth. 
like we complicate we don't try to differentiate between a body mind and intellect second we are born with this uh, what they call you know we live by our emotion so jealousy anger all these six sadripus as they call it kama krodha lobha boha mata matsar we are a, we are we are calibrated like this we, we as a human being we are born with these emotions and we are born with this confusion we we term it as ignorance but this pancha kleshas it's a human if you are human you were born with ignorance you are born with this six this thing and we we live a life of confusion we confuse one minute one minute one so what i want to ask you something so mm. you are not so you are saying we don't complicate life we are born with complications is that what you say yes till we till we are on the till we seek because we are in samsara moment to say samsara all this comes we are born in the you, you are saying samsara that... so what removes this complication is is the clarity when you are when we go on the path of uh, pirlo you know We, we when we are determined, you know, now enough is enough. Let us get moksha. Let us get liberate ourselves. Otherwise, we are going to come back again and again and again and again. And this, the reason we so are coming back is complicated. No, so there is no scope of not having a complicated life, according to you. The scope of having uncomplicated life is the only way you go towards God. and that too if you are if you if you if you don't use your discrimination to go via you know uh, as i say if you don't have this advaita knowledge still you you lack again again short interesting so sunil is saying because we are born with certain uh, indriyas and man and emotions so we are essentially we are complicated beings according to sunil quite factual though i would not like to agree a uh, prima facie i would not like to agree but sunil is not saying wrong he's saying principally all human beings they are all greedy all human beings are greedy all human beings have desires all human beings have attachments all human beings have expectations all human beings suffer so sunil is saying something very true but i am the question that's put up to me today is very different the question is why do we complicate our life so sunil is by, by bypassing the question as of now so let me let me put sunil uh, to be further uh, in, uh, investigated his, his point whether actually we are complicating life or god has made our life complicated so sunil according to me you are you are telling the divine has created a complicated life by giving us yeah, so, so many that we search so that we search for it <laughs> he so wants us, he wants us to turn ourselves you know opposite instead of going to a samsara you turn yourself and then as they call it to dhara you should be radha <laughs> okay so i i i think it's a very uh, very uh, off beat answer but let me see who else who was after that was it rekha the rekha atmatray girish Uh, Ruma Thaji, first Ruma Thaji. I remember that Ruma Thaji. Then the rest. Yes, please. Um, Ruma Thaji. Pranam Guruji. Pranam Guruji. Pranam Pranam. Kabi Guruji. Kabi ham. Kabi ham duty ke naam pe zindagi ko uljaate hain. Ta kabi rishto ke naam par ham zindagi ko uljaate hain. Kabi past me bhutakte hain. Ta kabi future me jaate hain. अगर सबसे बचना है हमको तो हमें भगवान की तरफ जाना है तो क्यों नहीं जाते हैं क्यों हम इस जिंदगी को हम क्यों कॉम्प्लिकेट करते हैं एक साधारण व्हेन वी कुड लिव अ सिंपल पीसफुल ब्लिसफुल लाइफ लाइक ब्लिको सेट बस ब्लिको सेट वी आर चेसिंग हैप्पीनेस वॉज इट नॉट ब्लिको सेट वाई आर वी चेसिंग वाई कैंट वी बी हैप्पी एज वी आर why can't we find that state of enlightenment why can't we find that truth why when like uh, like ashok uh, chot when he started is it necessary to be not why is cutting off the voice is cutting off so it be wrong so it he yeah. said god has made us and your complete. voice is cutting off cutting off cutting off okay 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 
So is the voice okay now? Yes, it's okay now. Okay. So my point is that Sureer Chittal says, no, because we are born with all these indriyas and this, what he calls those kam, krod, lob, mo, matsari, ahinkar, those six negative poisons. The question is that Ruh Mataji is saying something else. She says, Ruh Mataji says, we complicate our life needlessly. Am I right, Ruh Mataji? You are saying, 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 <laughs> aap keh rahe hain, aap, what you are telling just now, instead of living life, for example, moment by moment, we are jumping into yesterday that's gone, then we are jumping into tomorrow that's not yet born, then we are swinging like a pendulum, and we are becoming unhappy. And you are questioning that, you are saying then sometimes we are giving the blame to responsibilities, rishto mein, duties, mein. we keep on blaming people, we keep on blaming our circumstances. But we are not happy. We complicate our life. You know, let me, Rumataji, let me take a simple example of a, of a, of a, should I call him a sannyasi? Let me call him a sannyasi. Look at that man who has nothing, who has nobody. He lives in bhakti. He lives in the, in the mountains. He lives very happily. He eats jok milta hai, gana gata hai, bhakti karta hai, khushi se jita hai. Kuch chinta nahi ho se. He is not worried about whether he should ride, who, whether people are worried, whether he is driving a BMW car or Mercedes Benz. No, he is not worried. Forest mein, there is no need of Mercedes and BMW. There is no need to worry whether he is, whether he is wearing Gucci or Louis Vuitton. No, he is not worried what brand he is wearing. So he lives a simple life. He is very happy. Very, very happy. May, so, may, may I say something, Guruji? Yes, 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 Sudhir, bolo. I, I have seen a lot of lazy people who are also happy. <laughs> they are not bothered <laughs> about tomorrow. Huh? So my, my submission is, one has to live with a sense of purpose. Or he, he has to go in Talash. You know, unless you, you go in Talash, that yesterday we said starting point. If you don't start the journey, I think everybody else is, in, is living a complicated life. No, there is no doubt. I don't think a person who is living a lazy life, I think he's complicating his life even more. Yes, further, further, yes. Because he will not have enough food, shelter, clothing. He will not be able to take care of himself. He is going to become miserable. So I don't think that you're right. Sir. That's not the way to do it. Uh, but we are, comp no doubt, Suril, uh, while I agree that we have been given these emotions and these indriyas, we are complicating our life. There is no doubt. Question is why? Today we want to find out because we are on this journey of enlightenment. That, the question is just because we have the confusion between the body mind. We don't. We, we are not able to differentiate. We are saying the mind itself is me. This this identity I is creating all the com complicated. So basically, you are going to Ashok Chotwani. In the beginning, he said ignorance. Yes, ignorance is the cause, but we are yeah. born with ignorance. So, but also mm -hmm. as a human being, we have been given an intellect. To discern. <laughs> if you so, don't use that, then you are. No. A so, if you tell me, if you tell me, I am born as a bankrupt, but I have money in the pocket to buy bread. Yeah, then that's not, not correct. Correct. Right? I am born. I am born bankrupt, but I have money in the pocket to buy bread. Means I am not bankrupt. Means I have the money in the pocket to buy bread. Yes. You are not looking at the. Uh, you are looking at the wrong guy. It's like a person sitting with on a pot of gold and wealth. Whole right. life is a beggar. But actually, he's sitting on the bottom of it, which is just not beggar, making effort to you know find and uh, use it. That blind beggar, if you remember the blind beggar, every day night he used to take the coins and all yes. the dirty papers he used to throw it. Yes. Till one day, the passerby told him, "Sir, what are you? Why are you throwing all the ten rupee note, fifty rupee note, hundred rupee note, and keeping the coins?" The blind beggar said, "I do not know. They are notes. I do not know the meaning of note." So, so we are like that blind beggar. All, See, all. Let, me tell you, let me tell you on this. Uh, somebody told me this very beautiful uh, extension to this analogy. Somebody is blessed with everything. Somebody is blessed with everything. Still, they are foolishly chasing for something so mediocre. Somebody can be a king, but they are chasing what a beggar will chase. Why? Because, 
because magic is missing and in that gg gg is gone uh, it's it is very sad yes. that you could be you could be a king but instead of being a king you have got the opportunity of being a king but you live like a beggar why why so this is a big complication that we have to overcome okay where are we going next who's next rekha i think rekha parwani and then atmatrai girish kumar swami come on one by one please let's get let's get going start shubham hai shubham i feel we complicate our lives because we think the samsara is real ah the myth is real and we think everything is ours we don't realize that everything will be left behind today i was in kashmir in srinagar rekha yes, i was in yes. kashmir and i was walking beside dal lake and mm -hmm. it was ramzan time i don't know maybe ramzan time that man yes. was the shepherd was walking with 100 uh, bed bakri he mm -hmm. was walking and and all the bakri one following one bakri following the other bakri following the other bakri following the other huh? mm -hmm. we are also like this herd of herd of sheep right yes from the time we we are we wake up in the, in life we are just mm. following the herd yeah we think and everything is real yeah so it's wrong not real yes why are we why are we chasing what is why yeah. are we chasing mithya yes why can't we, we stop enlightenment is the and enlightenment is a pure nectar yes why are we why are we why are we mm. why are we exchanging mm. diamonds diamonds for coal mm. yes why are you exchanging diamonds for coal hmm. when are you going to wake up is it going to be when it's too late so it hmm. no you shouldn't this is the problem the opportunity will not last forever Correct. we have to open our eyes sometimes the opportunity is gone gone yes. no we, that's why we this call every day we remind ourselves hmm. mithya mith, mithya ko dur karna satya se jeena sat chit anand Yes. Okay. Thank you, Rekha. Next, please. Thank you, Ed. Admit that many people are giving comments, but first we'll finish the live questions. Uh, Shivam sir. Shivam Atmatray. Ah, uh, sir, I am uh, giving a practical example. Very good. I am from small town. Mm -hmm. In childhood, I see uh, there was uh, a very simple life. My father mm -hmm. was uh, working in a farming, and he's also telling us work and eat and sleep. no more ambitious but nowadays i see in the town also small boys are also very ambitious mm. and they are getting rat race of success mm. that's why uh, their life become very very complicated mm mm, uh, mm. yeah <laughs> uh, and one more point i live but my life as a engineer and uh, very happily because uh, i work and uh, with uh, satisfaction mm. not for promotion but uh, for satisfaction only and uh, nowadays i have a purpose to my life for enlightenment uh, purpose cannot complicate our life no, so you are blessed you are yeah. blessed you have tell me why are we teaching our children to yeah. chase success unnecessarily i think because it is we are teach, uh, we are teaching our children to complicate their life because ultimately people yeah. want success because they think success is equal to happiness yes, if sir. success was equal to unhappiness would you chase success oh, no we are foolishly believing in the equation success equals happiness but actually success is not equal to happiness happiness is equal to success yes so we yes. are why are we complicating atmatray why are we such a simple matter why do you think we are complicating atmatray what is the reason i have need not sir complicate to why, be why, why are we complicating why are this small why are these children that are saying in the small town why they are running behind big carrier why they want to run and run and run and finally life is over hmm yes sir <laughs> but why They are ignorant, na, sir. So, is the root cause ignorance? Ashok Chotwani today hit the jackpot when he started, but is it true? 
is the root cause what Ashok Chotwani started? Is it ignorance? Yes, or is it, is it something else? I don't know. We have to, we are still contemplating. Girish. People do not know that they are spiritual beings having human experience. Wow. wow. They also do not know what is eternal bliss and everlasting happiness. They only think that if I bag more and more success in little time, I will be happy. They end up complicating their life and becoming miserable. Very true. I mean, what about profound answers? People think that pleasure is equal to happiness. I wish, I, 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 you know, last few days I've been telling you this. I want to create a talk on the subject. We don't understand the meaning of dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine is the pleasure hormone. Serotonin is the peace hormone. And we are going on chasing that excitement of dopamine and the dopamine is killing the serotonin. Our basic pleasure is killing our peace. And we don't realize this. Instead of being in a state of Sat Chit Anand, instead of being in a state of peace, which is the essential foundation of happiness, because there, there is no peace, there can be no happiness. But unfortunately, just today I recorded the song again, which I sang to you yesterday. Shanti mehi jo, jo jivan jita, sat ka chit karta, wo anand pata, shanti mehi to, ehsas ye hota. Prabhu hai andar, mehsus ye hota. Shanti mehi jo, jo jivan jita. Sat ka chit karta, wo anand pata. We do not, what just now Girish said, we are exchanging ananda for pleasure. I know Girish, but a very beautiful example is coming to my mind, Girish. There was a man who was walking outside in the village house where the father had given the two boys golden ornaments. The children were wearing beautiful golden ornaments. And one man passed by and he told the children, can I give you some ice creams and some toys? They said, please give us. They said, please give me this gold gold. This is a heavy thing on your neck. He removed, they removed the chains and the ornaments and gave to that man for the sake of ice cream and for the sake of some toys. Because the children did not know the value of their gold. It was priceless. So we are exchanging something priceless. We are spoiling our beautiful, peaceful life and we are complicating it. We are complicating our life. Okay, good. Thank you, Girish. Anything more? Otherwise, we go to the next person. Gautam, uh, Komal. Uh, Sip, Air. Uh, Gautam, Sip. Uh, Air, I want to add one, one point. Uh, yeah. We make our life complimentary because uh, we are not the boss. Uh, we are not the boss. We are the horse. We, Very good. Follow, the, we follow the mind what mind gets. That's it. Wow. What a beautiful, what a beautiful answer before the end. Gautam says, remember that story? There was a man riding a horse and somebody asked this man, where are you going? He was riding a horse. And the man said, ask the horse. I don't know. <laughs> ask the horse. So many of us are riding a horse, but we don't know where we are going because we are not the boss. We, we are not the boss. We let the life, life be taken over by the horse. It's very important. And what is this horse Gautam spoke about? The horse is nothing but the mind. The mind is a monkey. Jumps from thought to thought to thought to thought. It steals our consciousness. It steals our peace. The mind is the biggest enemy. The mind must be destroyed, must be cremated, must be killed. How? Through the method of consciousness. Living in consciousness, living in silence. Can we live in that state of Sat Chit Anand, Chaturyam, Samadhi? Can we live in that state of quiet? Can we, by Guruji, what did Dada always say? Dada always said, in the West especially, 
slow down your pace slow down your pace don't just chase life is not a race don't get caught in the maze remember you should live with grace don't forget this is the problem that we are just running this race and finally finally the race will be over and then a man who has got a glass full of life his glass full of life is becoming empty 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 and his glass of money is becoming full 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 in the end life is empty money is full you leave all the money and you go what did you do why did you live if you did not attain god realization if you did not attain god realization then what was the purpose of your life why are you alive what we have all come here for a purpose we are not this is not a party we have not come to this world just to come have fun <laughs> and go there is a purpose we have to experience and find out what is that purpose what we are doing we are complicating life so let's go on to the next who's komal yogini why shivam sir sure. why are we complicating life yes please uh, we are just like that person who jumps into the well uh, into the river seeing that woolen uh, carpet as you said <laughs> ah okay the greed, like it. the foolishness so and then what we we are getting into trouble you know the beauty in this call is about 50 of us 50 people come to this call every day at least 50 60 70 people but everybody in this call is very sincere in seeking enlightenment people on this in this call are sincerely wanting to attain the ultimate goal of realization of liberation of unification before this journey before the death whistle blows and before it, it's time for one to go we have to realize what it suril chital say we are not the body mind ego why we are complicating our life because we think we are the body we are the mind we are the ego no we are not we are the atma that's why when we when somebody dies people say he passed away we are so sure we are not the body that we burn the body if we are in, if they had any doubt would we burn the body you know in the olden days they had a doubt the person is in the body they never burnt the body they would mummify the body they would keep the bodies thousands of years ago thinking that the first person will come back then they realize the person is dead the person is gone so we are complicating our lives and our goal is not to complicate our life but to simplify our life so who else would like to add to this question why are we complicating our life i have a question from sanjeev kulkarni yes. yeah if a person has never tasted amras the person will never be able to believe in the sweetness of it similarly a person who has never experienced the ras of simple life will always favor and propagate material success as a good life and running towards material success in turn complicates life amazing this is sanjeev who is this sanjeev sanjeev kulkarni i don't know who sanjeev kulkarni is probably new to the call i'm not heard sanjeev participating in the call but what an amazing what an amazing submission by sanjeev kulkarni sanjeev kulkarni says jisne amras tasty nahi kiya the one who has not tasted amras what does he know the meaning of that amras how does he know how to, what is the taste of that see those who are chasing success money wealth unfortunately the majority of people in this world where do they understand the meaning of contentment fulfillment enlightenment where do they understand the meaning of a simple life this is what sanjeev says where do they understand the bliss that comes from silence where do they understand the meaning of consciousness consciousness is a state of thoughtlessness thoughtlessness is a state where there is no misery because when there are no thoughts there's no fear there's no worry there's no anxiety there's no depression one lady came to me and she told me i'm very worried about my son i'm very worried about my son i said what happened no no i'm really worried about my son then i asked her will your son die no 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 son will not die but i'm very worried about my son then will your son uh, be 
sleeping the footpath. No, 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 not that. But I'm very worried about my, my son. I said, what are you worried about your son? See, I don't know what I'm worried, but I'm worried. So see, what happens? We worry. We needlessly worry. Because what Gautam said, because we do not, we are not the boss. We give our life over to the horse. And who's the horse? It is the monkey. The monkey that makes us a donkey. Pawan, I do say you have some more. Uh, I, Dasi said something. I don't know what Dasi said, but okay. Yes, you, you Dasi comment? said we were born because of karmic account. We need to do the right and avoid the wrong. Of course, Dasi, you were born. Dasi, we were born out of karmic account. We need to do right and off the stop doing the wrong. But my dear Dasi, if you keep doing the right and you keep doing the right, you are not going to be liberated. You are not going to be liberated. You are going to come back and you will be rewarded. You will get a life of happiness, of success, of money, but you will not get God. If you want, if you want to come back and be a rich man again, you want to be a millionaire and a billionaire of the world, you can. But if you want God, it is not by doing good karma. If you want God, Dasi, you have to transcend the karma. You have to go beyond the karma. You have to be liberated from karma, Dasi. I don't know whether you are there, but I hope you're getting the point. By doing good karma, Dasi, there is no way to attain God. Pavan, Pavan, you want to say something? Yeah, sir. So, uh, for a question, I want to answer. Why, yes, are, you Why are you complicating this uh, effort, sir? Lack of consciousness of the truth and uh, letting the mind control us. Oh, thank you. The similar points Pavan says, we, why do we complicate life? Because we are not conscious of the truth and we let our life get controlled by our mind. We should not let our life be controlled by the mind. We should let our life be controlled by the intellect. 90% of the people in this world don't even know that mind and intellect are different. Mind is not intellect. You can't control the mind. What does the mind do? The mind keeps on giving you thoughts. Padak, 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 padak. The mind will go on blowing thoughts, but the intellect can control the thought. The intellect can stop the thought from becoming a feeling and an action. But the mind you cannot stop unless you learn to cremate the mind. You know what is the way of cremating the, the mind? You burn the mind. You completely destroy the mind. Then there are no thoughts. There is only consciousness. Have you been able to do that? So my dear friends, coming on this call is like a herbal treatment every day. Every day we learn something. Every day somebody says something so beautiful on this call. And this call gives us answers to questions which we don't know. And the answers come from the divine. Sometimes it's Sunil Chittal says, sometimes Girish says, sometimes today Ashok Chotwani started off. Why do we complicate our life? He said in very simple words, because of ignorance. Avidya ke karan hum sab tadapte andhkar me jite aur fir hum marte punar janam fir hum lete mukti nahi hum paate avidya me jite marte avidya ke karan avidya ke karan hum sab tadapte andhkar me jite fir hum marte punar janam fir hum lete when are we going to see what is what are we doing before we close the call let me give you a few tips <coughs> why not complicate today i am provoking you i'm like why don't we complicate as sunil chitan why don't we complicate and have some fun why not why not create a, a holiday home in kashmir and a holiday home in switzerland and a holiday home in australia and one holiday home in antarctica why not why not? You know, it's only going to complicate because all that is going to make you more miserable. All of that, all that is not going to give you more happiness. You think it's going to give you happiness. So we, in chasing these material pleasures, which are a shot of dopamine, we are losing that peace, that serotonin that comes from the realization of the truth. 
we why do we complicate our life like ashok started because of ignorance why do we complicate our life because we are slaves of the mind why do we complicate our mind our life because we do not follow the right path why do we complicate our life because we do not have a spiritual mentor who can guide us for example i told dasi <coughs> many people think doing good karma will give you god no no chance <coughs> good karma cannot give you god unless there is no karma unless you drop all karma what do we do again we complicate again we do good karma <laughs> we plant seeds the moment you plant seeds by your deeds you are going to create new trees new roots new sh new shoots new fruits and they will come back bliko you were trying to say something bliko sorry i i did not i, I wanted to say something uh, no not much but uh, i want to just add that this all chasing of temporary happiness is is a contact happiness as long as you are in the contact with that material things or person or relationship or the place or the things you will get the happiness that is contact happiness and it will remain only when the contact is there and that also very temporary even if this contact is if you like a laddu and if you uh, eat 10 laddus you will die you will uh, suffer <laughs> so contact is also temporary but the problem bliko is this the problem is 99% of the world is following this Correct. So the one percent who's on this call, they start wondering, mm. why are we not following the ninety-nine percent who are going in the opposite direction, which is the wrong direction? That's why somebody wrote a good book. It's called "The Road Less Traveled." We we are trying to follow the herd. We are we believe in what we are taught. We are, we believe that God is in heaven. We believe that it was our birthday. It's not your birthday. Your birthday is not your birthday. You were born nine months back, but you celebrate your birthday. You believe in Santa Claus. You believe God lives somewhere in heaven, but you don't go in a quest to find out. So, because look at this, Bliko. Because you believe in a God, then you buy big agarbattis, not small agarbatti. You want God <laughs> to be impressed by lamba lamba big agarbatti. Then you for God you make special bundi ka laddu because Ganapati likes. Bundi ka laddu, and you go and feed him, and then you buy special thick milk and curds for Abhishekam, and then you are going and pouring, and you get from Kashmir wild honey, which some people love wild honey, and you put used wild honey for the Abhishekam. See what are you doing? You are complicating. Then you give God a birthday, and you celebrate God's birthday. Hey, how can God have a birthday? If God has a birthday, then God needs a cardiologist also. Huh? When are we going to wake up? When are we going to stop complicating our life? And this today makes you realize: when you stop complicating your life, you start moving towards the journey called enlightenment. As long as we are living a life of ignorance, we are going to suffer. We are going to suffer, and this is going to happen again and again and again. My dear friends, a simple life, a simple life, which means that we have to stop. It was called Sravana Manana Nidhi Dhyasan, which means ask, investigate, realize the truth. No doubt, what Sunil Chittal said is right. What does Sunil say? We have got senses. Yeah, but Sunil, the senses must be controlled by the intellect. No doubt. That we human beings are subject to calm, growth, love, mo, anger, matsarya, but the enlightened being overcomes all this. The enlightened being, Sunil, does not have calm. It does not mean when I say calm, lust. Lust does not mean that you should not eat anything. You should not have. You should not love anybody. Lust does not mean you stop drinking water. Some people they do tapas. Again, avidya. Some people tapas. Tapas means for fifteen days I didn't even drink water. Some people they say we can't even take our spit inside because fasting means we should not even take our spit inside. Okay, do it, do it. But what are you doing, my dear friends? You are complicating your life. You are complicating your life with myth. 
with expectations, with attachments, with desires, with ignorance, with the mind. When in reality, all you need is one thing. That one thing is called consciousness. You need to live in the state of consciousness. If you live in that state of consciousness, thoughtlessness, and you are experiencing sat chit anand, you will not chase happiness. You know the musk deer? The musk deer runs all through its life in frenzy, chasing for the musk. That ignorant musk deer does not realize the musk is inside. Some of us are chasing for happiness outside. I want this person. I want this food. I want this cloth. I want this handbag to be happy. No. Happiness is inside you. If you want to truly be happy, you can be happy by learning not to complicate your life. I bow down to you for your divine presence. Everybody contributes so much to this call that without you, this call would be meaningless. I bow down to you.